Then we had this Kyle O'Reilly video package, which was just awesome. Total babyface promo package. Total babyface Adam Cole doing commentary. And he's talking about how if I... Even if I'd never gotten NXT, I'd still be wrestling every other week for $5. I just love it. I've wanted to face Finn Balor for a long time. This TakeOver main event has been building for the last 15 years. If I win, Undisputed Era sticks together as always. It'll be our second wave. Not yeah, sure it, I would have used second wave in a promo at this time of year, but... I know. That's what he said. But, um, yeah, the whole story is, is that... Um they're acting like, you know, they keep bringing up, what will Adam Cole think if Kyle O'Reilly wins? So I wonder how that, I wonder if, like, uh, Adam Cole turns on Kyle O'Reilly and costs him the match. Or if it turns out that Adam Cole actually is Kyle O'Reilly's best friend, and they get turned on by the other two. Um, because the other two have been staying, have, have been heels, and those two have been baby faces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's Besides, the idea that Adam Cole would turn on him would require Kyle O'Reilly to win the NXT title, and... Yeah. Maybe he that. will, but I, I don't think, think so. I don't. I don't think so. But I mean, it's not impossible. But the one thing is, is that I do believe that they're going to have an absolutely killer match. I just yes. think the way the styles work with those two guys. Um, I mean, they've talked about it, but I mean, Kyle O'Reilly in a long singles match. I mean, every time I've seen Kyle O'Reilly in a long singles match, it's really you know. It's funny because it's like they were trying to sort of say that Kyle O'Reilly's underrated and Finn Balor goes, well, the casual fans might not, but all the hardcore fans know how good he is, which is, I guess, actually kind of true. We then had an awesome face-to-face with Kyle O'Reilly and Finn Balor. It was so great. Yeah, Kyle's, it, was, it was great. You know, he's, he's pretty Kyle, much a Kyle. baby face, but he's got an edge to him. And Kyle really did well there. I mean, yeah. um, Finn, Finn Balor Finn Balor did what I expected he would do. I mean, he's very experienced in this. Kyle, but Kyle came off like it's weird because he doesn't have the star look, but everything he does is so freaking great. And I thought that like here he he sold that match. He sold that boy, he sold, you know, it's like I mean, I I was already into that match, so it doesn't really matter to me, but if you're like, oh, you know, Kyle O'Reilly, you know what I mean? It's like he's never really been pushed as a single. But you watch this thing back and forth. By the time it's over, and, and a lot of it, you know, some of it, I won't say a lot of it, but some of it is also Finn Balor really putting him over strong. But you just come out when this thing's over, like, number one, you want to see the match. And also, it's like you got a completely different feel of Kyle O'Reilly than you would have ever gotten before. So this segment, I thought, was a big success. He was awesome, and then Finn says, "You're, you know, you're witty. You have charisma. You're really, really good in the ring. You have everything it takes to become the NXT champion, and you would win the belt on Sunday if it were on anyone but Finn Balor." This was awesome. It was yeah, great. Very, very good line. Very good line. 